Now, as golfers, we often have to make choices that sometimes means making a bit of a compromise. And that compromise is often about club choice because, well, we have to recognize our ability and choose the best clubs that suit our skill set. Now, as an example of that, I would choose to play blades, but well, based on my ability, and that ability pulling a wedge from just 120 yards, suggests I might be better not going down that route. So what if I was to tell you that one brand is, well, they're trying to give you an option that allows you to build a set that offers real forgiveness and playability at the same time. So if you ask yourself a question, would you like to have the option of having maybe a super game improvement iron at the top end of the bag? Maybe a game improvement iron in those mid irons, and then maybe a sort of more refined cavity back in the short end of the bag. That seems like a sensible route you'd want to go down. Well, if the answer to that question is yes, well then you better stick around because that's exactly what we're going to be looking at in today's video. Sit down, ball. Well, that's exactly what Cleveland have attempted to do in this set of irons lineup. I'm going to call it product lineup. And whilst the product themselves, well, it's not exactly brand new, I don't think anybody has considered putting the set together in the way that I'm suggesting. You see, the Cleveland Launcher XL range, well, really, it consists of three different types of irons and i think by combining all three you could get the ultimate set of irons in both forgiveness and also playability right i'm going to kick things off at the short end of the bag but before we go any further i just want to mention one thing that cleveland have done which i absolutely love and that's the fact that they state the number of the club and they also state the loft on the bottom of the club how good is that to see and i would love to see that from most manufacturers moving forward but getting back to these particular irons what's interesting at this end and wedges through to eight iron is that they are in fact a cavity back it's a slightly smaller profile than where we're going to go to next from seven iron onwards but for now let's just concentrate on the fact it's a cavity back iron it's relatively compact but it's still got the essence of what you'd call a game improvement iron but what i really love from this is you've got that compactness down at the short end of the bag a bit of refinement where you'd perhaps like to see it and also what i will say from the shots i've hit so far some great feel out of these as well really nice to be able to control these things i'm going to talk about the swing weight in terms of the grip again very shortly which is really interesting but from wedges through to eight iron you're going to be playing a cavity back iron in this cleveland lineup that i'm suggesting you really take a serious look at now then once you get to the seven iron and onwards well things get a little bit different and the iron is made up completely different than that of the cavity back because it becomes a hollow bodied iron and what we've seen so far in the last couple of years these have become hugely popular they've become an iron that is associated i would say with fast ball speeds they've also been a very forgiving iron like i said hugely popular you'll see from the difference between the two in terms of the makeup there's slightly difference in terms of visually although obviously they carry on the theme but you can clearly see the difference between a cavity back and a hollow bodied iron so now you've got the option to move in from seven iron up to four iron if you wanted to complete the set in this hollow bodied iron then you've got this thing where you've got a mix up between the uh, finesse of a cavity back then the ball speeds and the forgiveness of a hollow bodied iron but if you want to take things one step further in terms of forgiveness there's another option at the top end of the bag that cleveland are offering why not make things just that little bit easier again because that's exactly what cleveland are trying to attempt to do at least with their halo xl irons which are effectively across a hybrid between an iron and a hybrid and they pack in maximum forgiveness and like i said why wouldn't you look to introduce these at the top end of the bag perhaps the four or the five iron depending on how far you want to go with so-called irons in the bag but this just makes that setup just absolutely perfect in terms of ultimate forgiveness in that top end of the bag picks the ball up so well 
slightly heavy strike there i think that's going to come up a little bit short but that's exactly what we need it's a cold winter's morning here at carden park not many swings in a bag just now but i've got every kind of help that i can possibly get in terms of not only forgiveness but the ability to pick the ball up launch it high all the things that we struggle with in terms of not generating enough club head speed at that longer end of the bag and that's exactly why mixing up this whole set to me is potentially the perfect scenario whilst we're on the long end of the bag and the sort of halo hybrid iron that um, i'm really keen on if you want to watch the full review uh, a bit of a more detailed review then please go and check that out in recent weeks but it offers you a bit of versatility this thing because like i'm stood here now it's a kind of club that you're willing to play off the tee if you're looking for some distance you can play this kind of thing out of the rough like you would um, play in a hybrid and there's plenty of help to get that ball out of there and then obviously you'd play it from the fairways as well so i just love the versatility these halo irons offer and then coupled with that forgiveness and that towering ball flight i've just played five iron off this tee and hopefully from the shot trace you'll see the ball flight is extremely high relative to loft again so they do exactly what they're intended to do And that was an eight iron which is the uh, what's the last cavity back in terms of uh, before it switches up into that hollow body i played a few wedges and a few of these uh, uh, nine and eight irons and the feel album's really good they launch the ball incredibly high and again this is a 33 degree lofted eight iron so that's fairly strong to say the least what always baffles me with these things is as strong as they are lofted that ball flight there from an eight iron was incredibly high so even that cavity back end i would have thought that the cg being moved into the hollow bodied uh, iron sets is where you start to see the ball sort of rising quite high four iron five iron where we need the help and assistance but it's also a very high launching ball in the short end of the bag as well so i just think what they're doing is everything is geared towards helping and assisting golfers with the kind of things that we struggle with now the final thing to mention is the price point because what cleveland also do very well is keep these things affordable to the masses as you can see on screen now that seven piece set well it comes out on average at let's say 85 pound a club and although those hybrids seem to make it a little bit more expensive they don't seem you to want you to buy those on their own i certainly found you can get those for 120 a club and then the six through to pitching wedge well they come in at around 350. so it's more expensive than just buying a set of one or the other but i still think worthwhile looking at in mixing these up if you're looking for what i've suggested throughout this video which is that ultimate amount of forgiveness at that top end of the bag which without doubt those halo irons give you then in that mid section you've got a more smaller profile but you've got something that's giving you plenty of assistance and then the cavity back just being a little bit more refined and playable at the shorter end of the bag so for me that is the perfect way of getting maximum forgiveness and maximum playability in one set of irons that looks streamlined through the bag and comes in at a real affordable price so well done cleveland for that but overall each one of these stands on its own in being a very good performing set of irons from cleveland and uh, i don't think there's any more i can add as ever these were not new the way i've put them together is maybe slightly different but if you're playing any of these products then please fill your comments in down below and as i always say point your fellow golfers in the right direction and let me know well let them know your thoughts and i'll see you all very soon